Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Script Reading for the second week of Great Lent, Thursday. The first reading of the day is from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 12. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings, with two he covered his faith, and with two he covered his feet and with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the thresholds shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim to me, having in his hand a burning coal, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin forgiven. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and say to this people, Hear and hear, but do not understand. See and see, but do not perceive. Make the heart of this people fat, and their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn, and be healed. Then I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, Until cities lie waste without inhabitant, and houses without men, and the land is utterly desolate, and the Lord removes men far away and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land. And the second reading of the day is from Genesis chapter 5, verses 1 through 24. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in likeness of God. Male and female he created them. And he blessed them and named them man when they were created. When Adam had lived a hundred and thirty years, he became the father of a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he became the father of Seth were eight hundred years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. When Seth had lived a hundred and five years, he became the father of Enosh. Seth lived after the birth of Enosh eight hundred and seven years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. When Enosh had lived ninety years, he became the father of Kenan. Enosh lived after the birth of Kenan 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalalel. Kenan lived after the birth of Mahalalel 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. When Mahalalel had lived sixty-five years, he became the father of Jared. Mahalalel lived after the birth of Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Mahalalel were eight hundred and ninety-five years, and he died. When Jared had lived a hundred and sixty-two years, he became the father of Enoch. Jared lived after the birth of Enoch eight hundred years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after the birth of Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. 
And the third reading of the day is from Proverbs chapter 6, verses 3 through 20. Then do this, my son, and save yourself, for you have come into your neighbor's power. Go, hasten, and importune your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hunter, like a bird from the land of the fowler. Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her food in summer and gathers her sustenance in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a vagabond and want like an armed man. A worthless person, a wicked man, goes about with crooked speech winks with his eyes, scrapes with his feet, points with his finger, with perverted heart, devises evil, continually sowing discord. Therefore, calamity will come upon him suddenly. In a moment he will be broken beyond healing. There are six things which the Lord hates, seven which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and a man who sows discord among brothers. My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.